Now, Lakeshore AccuWeather. Well, it was a very chilly day today, and uh, we'll get back to that in just a second. But uh, first, we'll look at um, today's high was about 70 degrees and the low for today at 36 degrees. So that was our high was actually um, just one degree lower um, than today than the average high. Our low, however, um, was a record low for today. The record low previously was 42 degrees in 1999. Um, today we broke that record at 36 degrees. Regional radar, it was a perfect fall day out for many of you for most of the Midwest out here. Not really a cloud in the sky for any of us. Uh, one of those beautiful fall days, a little bit uh, chilly in some parts, especially when the wind picked up. Otherwise, um, a beautiful day. Temperatures right now 59 in Valparaiso, 61 in Portage. There a little bit warmer towards the lake and Gary and Midway there in the mid 60s. The water temperatures has also cooled off nicely there at 63 degrees, a little bit cooler to our south and to our east as well. Wind speeds have died down from what they were earlier today. 10 miles per hour there in Valparaiso, 14 miles per hour still at Portage, although Gary has um, wind speeds have calmed quite a bit there at 8 miles per hour as well. All these winds coming out of the southwest. High temperatures for today, Chicago there at 70. We are no longer the coolest spot on the map anymore, which is a relief for many of us. The, those cooler temperatures have moved into the northeast there at Albany at 64, as well as Cleveland at 62. And warmer temperatures are in store for us tomorrow as well. High temperatures around the area, Gary there at 72, a little bit cooler in South Bend at 67. Chicago again there at 70 and cooler towards the north there. So temperature change at this time last night, it was very chilly, about 14 degrees colder um, in Gary than what we are at right now. So quite a different temperature contrast. We warned about 30 to 35 degrees across northwest Indiana today from this morning. Um, so quite a, a temperature change there. And this is what we have for the LNT Futurecast. That high pressure system moves off to our east and this kind of low sits over um, towards our southwest for a while there and this warm front provides some moisture. Now this is where we're, it's kind of a complicated setup here as the warm front depends on how far north it tracks. That depends who could see some rain for tomorrow, but by the end of next week or by, by the end of this week, excuse me, the high pressure starts to move uh, south and starts to let us have that ample sunshine um, for the rest of the week. But here's the rainfall forecast, and this is what I'm talking about, how confusing this is. So we have definitely a line um, right south of Valparaiso, south of Crown Point. You can see this is going through 24 hours till tomorrow night. Crown Point and Valparaiso not really getting any rain. However, DeMott, a little bit over a quarter of an inch. Lake Village there, a quarter a little less than a quarter of an inch. So it really depends on how far that warm front does track north and some southern parts of northwest Indiana could be in store for a little bit of rain and maybe some thunder as well. So here's the forecast for tonight. Mostly clear skies. Those clouds will increase towards the morning hours as that warm front starts to track farther north. We won't escape the clouds, but could escape the rain for tomorrow. Lows for tonight in the upper 40s to lower 50s. A south southwest wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And then for tomorrow, a mix of sunny clouds, Chance of showers, though, does exist, um, especially for regions to our south. Again, an afternoon thunderstorm is possible as well. And tomorrow's forecast, highs in the low 70s, probably one of the only days this week that we will get above the average um, for this time of year. And here's the LNT seven-day outlook. Again, Tuesday and Wednesday, we do have showers. And then Thursday, some clouds still stick around. And then for Friday and Saturday, it looks very pleasant. It looks like a perfect weekend, and we'll have more on your weekend forecast coming up in just a bit. That sounds good. You know, Justin, this is the first time I broke out the gloves for my morning job. For your morning, so yeah. It was, it, was, cold. it was definitely a chilly one, probably yeah. the coldest day morning that we've had so far this fall. So it'll only get worse from here. Oh, but right. for this week, we have a little bit of a break. Thanks, Justin. No problem. All right, still to come on Lakeshore News tonight, a huge upset highlighted high school football action last week. Tommy is next with sports.
see more of the allergy problems throughout the seasonal changes. There are certain things that we recommend patients to do. Some of those uh, involve using medications such as nasal sprays and antihistamines. Typically, most patients, by the time they come to see us, have already exhausted those techniques, and we often use surgical techniques using endoscopic surgery to help alleviate their problems that have not been treated uh, appropriately with medication. My name is Dr. Jack Patel, and for your health, see your primary care physician or your ENT specialist for symptoms that you're experiencing. Next time on Frontline, Fast cars. Zero to 60 in under five seconds. We do want to change the automotive industry. Holy as delusional as that sounds. Smart kids. No one expected a hybrid sports car to be made by a high school. And a $10 million prize. This is really a global competition. We've done something that million dollar corporations haven't done. Fast times at West Philly High. On Nova, why do we dream? What do they mean? If you want to understand what makes us tick, you need to look at dreams. Do they serve a purpose? The content of dreams is important for our psychological well-being. Why would Mother Nature highly activate your brain, paralyze your body, and force you to watch these things we call dreams? Why? What are dreams? The koala is renowned for its sedentary lifestyle, but scientists are discovering that their social life is coloured with rivalry and bellowing calls. By unlocking the koala communication code, we are lifting the veil on this Australian icon. We had the whole thing set up perfectly. We were gonna give some big time hype to that Lake Central Chesterton High School football game Friday. Something like, it's a battle of unbeatens and a possible dual-led conference championship matchup. Nothing personal to you, Maryville, of course. It's Lake Central versus Chesterton. This one is personal. I mean, we had the whole thing set up for some serious hype overload, and then Michigan City had to mess the whole thing up. All kidding aside, let's give some congratulations, rather, to the Wolves for upsetting Lake Central. Ryan Washington threw three touchdown passes as the Sente ended an 18-game losing streak to Duneland Conference teams. Daniel Lemon picked off two passes for MC. Chesterton won last week, but that wasn't easy against Portage. The Indians almost pulled off an upset. They wound up losing to the Trojans, though, 24-17. Right now, Chesterton tied with Merrillville for the top spot in the Duneland, but first things first, Trojans, Friday. Friday, it's Lake Central versus Munster. Make that at Lake Central taking on uh, Munster. Uh, Munster coach Leroy Marsh is going for his 200th career win, but came up short against Griffith and quarterback Austin Brown, who was the baddest man in the whole darn town Friday with three touchdown runs. And here is your region football honor roll with Chesterton now number seven in Class 5A this week. Because of that loss to uh, Portage, Lake Central now an honorable mention along with Merrillville. The Cougars of Kankakee Valley are ranked fourth in the 4A poll, Andrea in seventh in 2A, and Whiting number five in 1A. No matter if you like or hate Notre Dame football, there's one thing you can carve in granite. College football is a lot more fun when the Irish are winning. And that's what they're doing this season, going 5-0 after spanking Michigan Saturday, which gave them a promotion in the AP poll this week. They're now the number 10 team in the country. But for you who feel the Irish are national championship material, Come back down to earth, guys. Let's don't overdo it. Don't forget, three of the Irish wins have come against Big Ten teams, and we know how good the Big Ten is this season, right? They're not. Next stop, Highland for high school soccer as the Trojans take on Clark. And watch this great save here by the Highland goalie. Goes to his left and makes a fantastic save to keep the game close. But the worst place to be on the soccer field, the front line defense on a penalty kick. Danny Alamillo fires the PK over the Highland goalie. Couldn't make the save that time. Clark scores and Clark wins. Final score, 2-1 in favor of the Pioneers. So a little soccer action today in high school sports. And Busy day as always, and I know you're a Butler fan, so. I am a Butler fan. Mm -hmm. How's Butler doing? Um, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I understand. That's okay, though. I the Bulldogs will, will come back during basketball. I, I can't trash talk because I'm an IU football fan, so. Can't. Mm -hmm. as well. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. Gotcha. And Justin joins us now with another look at weather. Yeah, so taking a look at the weekend forecast there on Saturday. 
Saturday 68 degrees, mostly sunny skies, mild temperatures though. These temperatures are a little bit below average still for this time of year. Average temperatures are right around 70 to 71 degrees. So these are right at average or just below average. And then for Sunday, temperatures at 69 degrees, not quite hitting that 70 degree mark, a mix of sunny clouds. So it looks to be a perfect um, weekend for us. For anyone who has some weekend plans, go out and go ahead and do them. For the rest of the week, their showers continue again on Tuesday and Wednesday, clearing out by Thursday and then Sunday sunshine really returns to the area on Friday and for the rest of the week and then on Monday ample sunshine right now is what it looks like highs at 70 which should be right around there right at the average um, temperatures for this week so it looks like a beautiful week ahead and an even better weekend. Finally tonight a spin on the meaning of food fight according to UPI.com a New York teenager working at Subway fended off three robbers by throwing food at them. The teenager said she thought it was a joke at first when a man attempted to cut her with what she later found out was a USB plug. After one man asked for a free cup and she told him no another man asked for a sandwich before the third man demanded cash from the register. The teenager said she started throwing food and lids at them anything that was behind the counter to drive them away. The teenager says she has no intentions on quitting after the incident. Oh. Would you guys quit? No, I don't think I would quit. A USB yeah. stick, though. <laughs> that's, 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 a creative, yeah, that's a creative uh, material there to use. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah. Almost as creative as getting beaten up by a chicken teriyaki. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe yeah. those guys were just too chicken. <laughs> oh, there it is. There She'll it is. be here all week. <laughs> I'll be here all week. Well, that's all we have time for tonight. Be sure to stick around for American Experience next, and we will be back here tomorrow at 9. Thank you. Lakeshore News Tonight is made possible in part by Community Health Care Systems, Extraordinary People, Extraordinary Care. At Indiana University Northwest, higher education isn't only for students straight out of high school. It's also for the working mom or dad, the professional on the go, the teacher of tomorrow, and the retiree with more to learn. It's for students who want to know their professors in classes small enough to make their voices heard on a campus that welcomes diversity and makes learning.